Hi guys, I'm Tom PB and welcome to number six in our series of V tutorials in partnership with Parajet and Vitarazzi. In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through cylinder head temperatures or CHT and also exhaust gas temperatures or EGT, what these mean, how to install the components to monitor them correctly and the benefits to you as a pilot in having them. So in many cases, many of us will never use these types of monitoring devices. But as a pilot, if you do want to monitor the performance of your engine more closely, Viterazzi would typically recommend the use of three sensors. The first is for the cylinder head temperature, the second for the exhaust gas temperature, and the final for the RPM level. So firstly, let's cover the cylinder head temperatures, or CHT. And in order to monitor these effectively, we need to install a couple of simple items. So firstly, we need to remove the spark plug and then taking the cable provided, place the brass coupling underneath the spark plug before then remounting the spark plug and tightening it into the cylinder head. The monitoring device can be installed in many different places, such as the frame itself, attached to your harness, or indeed, as with this example, attached to your throttle so that it can be easily seen and monitored. Next, let's cover the exhaust gas temperature or EGT sensor. Now this is a little bit more complicated and involves drilling a hole along the exhaust manifold, which is a critical part of a two-stroke engine. When installing the EGT sensor, it'll first be necessary to measure 14 centimeters from the exhaust flange, mark, drill a pilot hole, drill a final hole, clean the area sufficiently, weld the stainless steel nut provided, and once all elements are cold and clean, finish with heatproof paint. So here we have an example of an exhaust we've pre-prepared. So reminding ourselves, we can see that the hole has been drilled 14 centimeters from the exhaust flange. The stainless steel nut has been welded in place and the area has been finished with heatproof paint. Now, taking the probe provided, we insert it into the hole and tighten. So here's a bit of useful technical advice. For the MY20 style exhaust, it's possible to mount the sensor on either the inside or the outside of the exhaust pipe. However, in the case of previous models, such as the MY19 muffler, you'll notice that there's an additional plate welded on the inside of the exhaust pipe. As a result, it'll be necessary to mount the sensor on the external side of the exhaust pipe. Once the EGT sensor has been installed correctly, you'll be able to view and monitor the exhaust temperatures using a device such as this. Now for an important warranty message regarding EGT installation. This is only recommended for sports or professional use as installing the probe will immediately invalidate the warranty for the exhaust. Now let's cover some important temperature measurements. For the cylinder head temperatures, or CHT, the maximum temperature should not exceed 250 degrees. In the case of the exhaust gas temperature, or EGT, the maximum temperature should not exceed 550 degrees. Finally, let's cover the TTO, or RPM tachometer, which allows you to effectively monitor the RPM of the engine whilst in flight and also capture the number of hours of use of your engine. You can install the TTO gauge by wrapping the signal cable between four to six times around the HT lead. So that's the end of this tutorial and we hope you found it useful and we look forward to welcoming you in the next tutorial, number seven, where we'll walk you through the muffler bronze bushing and how to change it correctly. Fly safe and have fun.